$8.3 billion from Obama going for loan guarantees, what's the implication for industry? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful sign of bipartisanship when you look at nuclear energy and the ability of this industry to start serving uh, the electricity demand that we see 23% between now and 2030 and doing it with a low carbon footprint. Uh, so the Obama administration is focused on clean energy technologies. It's focused on creating jobs. Tell me, how many jobs do you think may be created from this? Well, you know, as, as jobs are leaving our country on a regular basis, we've been creating jobs, 15,000 in the last three years alone, just to uh, start preparing, doing the engineering on new reactors and preparing to build these plants. Uh, the Vogel uh, Award that was announced earlier uh, to build two new reactors in Georgia by Southern Company, they already have 600 people working at that site today uh, with heavy machinery excavating that site, uh, already getting ready to put those reactors in the service. Uh, so the jobs are already there. You'll have up to 3,500 construction jobs at the Vogel site when they get into the heavy construction of the plant and then 800 jobs long term, 60 to 80 years operating that facility. Half of the uranium that we use today in our power plants comes from a program called Megatons to Megawatts. We're actually dismantling Cold War Russian warheads. Absolutely. And we're turning those into fuel for us. So if nuclear produces 20% of our electricity and half of our uranium comes from these warheads, does that mean that one out of every 10 electrons that you and I are consuming are actually coming from Russian warheads? That's exactly right. So, you know, warheads that were aimed at our cities are now powering our cities, and it's a remarkable program, not only from an efficiency standpoint of us actually going and capturing the energy uh, out of those warheads and applying it to commercial nuclear power plants, but a tremendous non-proliferation story in terms of taking thousands and thousands of warheads out of commission, converting that uranium into fuel that we can use in this country, uh, and very cost effectively. And are embracing this as the only large-scale baseload power, zero carbon. The one lingering concern is waste, mm -hmm. whether it's a geological repository, whether it's things like tritium, whether it's some of the low-level waste. How do you guys think about the waste management issue? Well, the, the main issue on waste management is really what do we do with the used fuel that comes out of the reactors? Uh, this is not a technical issue for the industry. We know how to manage that safely today on site. We've been doing it for the entire course of our industry uh, at various ways on site. There's a lot of rethinking going on right now, uh, really now led by a Blue Ribbon Commission uh, with the administration saying, okay, should we look at these things differently? Uh, there's a tremendous amount of energy content left in that fuel that we should capture instead of just throwing away. It's, a, it's an energy resource for us and a strategic one.